How you going guys, Mark here from DNA Paints. On this video, I wanna do a video explaining the, the common uses for our Black Abyss candy colors. Now, Black Abyss candy colors has been a topic in our social media platforms for a couple of weeks, and I thought I'd better do a video explaining what it's commonly more so used for over others. And what I mean by that is there's a lot of airbrush artists out there that use the Black Abyss candy colors for their drop shadows using an airbrush and their fade outs around their pinstriping. Now the reason why that's really common is, well A, you can achieve a dark shadow with the color and it's transparent so you can actually see the metal flake or metallics underneath that shadow. So you can get some pretty cool effective colors or uh, artwork by using the Black Abyss. However, it's not commonly used by spray painters to paint complete projects like motorbikes or cars. Now, there's a main reason behind that, and that reason is, well, you're more likely to get mottled with the Black Abyss candy colors over other colors, and that's simply because of how dark it is, um, and unfortunately, that's just what the Black Abyss candy was actually designed for, more so for the drop shadows and the fade outs with your pinstriping. So in this video guys, I wanna show you that. I've got a guard um, which I'll be painting spilt blood as the base and then the black abyss over the top. And I'll be showing you all the faults um, or the things to look for when painting the black abyss over, uh, I guess, spilt blood or any other like brown coat that you're wanting to put it over. Now, I've also got a Harley tank, which I'll be painting rod red. So it's a beautiful, nice, bright, contrasting orange, which would look really great uh, as a color on its own, but we'll be using it as the base coat layer for our candy colors in this video. So with that said, guys, let's jump into the video right now. 